Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in yet again to one of my videos. Uh, this is Camilo from Trending Waves. Um, hopefully today was a great day for you guys out there in the market. Uh, so today I'd like to review with you guys the charts of a couple of names in the cannabis sector. All right, I want to review Tilray, True Leaf, Cure Leaf, Crest Collapse, and Green Thumbs. Uh, if you guys are around, you know, so, so the cannabis sector is a little bit of a controversial sector, okay? There, there, there's, this, this cannabis is still considered a Schedule One um, substance in, you know, in the federal level. And last year, uh, or late last year, I believe, there was a, a bill passed called the Moore Act, which pushes, I have it up here for you guys to take a look, um, the more act, uh, this bill decriminalizes marijuana, okay? So, as I mentioned, it removes marijuana from the list of scheduled substances under the Controlled Substance Act and eliminates or, uh, eliminates criminal penalties for individuals who manufactures, distributes, or possesses marijuana. So, essentially, what this bill will help is get a lot of more funding from, the, from, from banks also into these companies which means more money into it and as you also know there's um the you know the states at a local level are trying to legalize it recreationally so hopefully by march i think the next uh, hearing for this bill to pass um will be you know will be will be in march and given that we have a blue wave it is likely that that there will be movement it is likely that something positive will come out of all this so that's one of the biggest reasons why I like to review this with you guys today. And I am looking into building positions and some of the names that I'm reviewing with you. So, as you guys know, Tilray, it is not a US-based company. It is a Canadian company. But the reason why I have it up here today and I like to review it is because I want you to guys note that this sector can be can be profitable, right? It is, it is crazy. It, it, it has big moves, but at the same time, can take a while right and you can see here that you know from the high of 300 down to 200 that's that's a that's a big loss but just again be be careful do your due diligence and uh, none of this is a recommendation this is my own personal analysis this is what I want to share with you guys as educational only and as you guys know I enjoy and love doing Elliott wave theory so this is my preferred interpretation my preferred way of, of technical analysis and I, as I use it to understand the trend and sort of the roadmap in where where we are within the market okay so I'm gonna bring it down from the day from the daily this is Tilray um, bring it down to the daily down to the four hour and we're going to just focus on this area okay um, from the March low all the way up until today so as we can see, this still remains, this still looks like a corrective move, okay? Um, so what's end up happening after a corrective move, we tend to see a, a bigger a bigger push. So uh, let's, let's count this together. So I believe that what we have here is an ABC flat. It's a flat correction, A down in B and then up in C, at which you know, the, the termination of C is yet to be, to be known. Um, but this count, let me bring you to the correct degree which is an intermediate and I like to label this in the white color so we can see that we can count one two and three that's a then one two and three for B and now as you know from a three from a, um, on the flat we can count three three five so three waves here three waves here and then the five waves uh, to finish uh, to finish C so I'm going to focus now here and then understand this structure. So the way I see it here is that uh, we have we are up in one, down in two, and we currently are in the third wave of C. Let me bring you down to the minor, change the color to red. All right, and a way to understand and validate this count is by using our favorite tool which is the Fibonacci, Fibonacci retracement, Fibonacci extension. So I want to know and I want to see if this, the end of this is validated by um, by bringing a, a retracement, a Fib retracement to the high. Oops. So I go here to the high and we see that it is, it is pretty much, it is valid, right? We peek down, we 
below the 61.8%, but we found some sort of support and we started rallying up. So from the standpoint, it is valid. So the bigger question is, where would this end? So I like to, I usually, we, we use the FIB extensions to project from the low here to the high down to the low of wave B, which we had already confirmed that this is a valid count. So we typically see wave C is a projection. Wave C can 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 run up to the one the one the one six one eight percent or the two hundred percent extension of wave one. And so by that note, I want to see if there are some fib clustering, and zoom in more and try to see where we are here and see where we can find some sort of resistance to the end of wave three. So uh, let me clean this up. Okay, so if we take another extension from the low to the high of wave one to the low of wave two, we we know that wave three can extend 100% of the, can run to 100% of the extension of wave one. So, and we see that there is already a, a flip cluster here of this extension of A and B, A versus B. So I, I feel, and I can, I can forecast that perhaps this zone, we've already reached a sort of um, resistance zone, and we are we can expect a pullback on the way four, a very short-lived pullback as this was a super directional um, pullback here. So once that happens, we can see um, wave five start. Okay, so that's my take on Tilray. Now moving on to True Leaf. I had already started this work on True Leaf here, um, but I want to finish it with you guys. So, this whole section here appear to have been a corrective WXY um, complex six, complex correction. So, let me see here WXY. So it's one, two, one, two, and three for Y. One, two, and three for X, and one, two, and three for Y. Let me confirm this it is in fact the termination of Y. And sure enough, we peaked below, just a tad bit below the golden pocket of 618, 6.1, 61.8%, which is a, a, a reasonable and a notable uh, FIB zone where we can expect a reversal. So coming off the wave Y on the March low, so we can see that we started rallying impulsively in the upside. So we can count five waves here, and that's what I have labeled here. So if we take a FIB, um, a FIB retracement from the low to the high of wave one, we can see that wave two ended between the 38 and the 618 point, the 61.8 re uh, retracement. And that's appropriate. That that's pretty shallow, I say. But we can count three waves here, and so we're currently we currently see see ourselves in, in the in the wave three. So expect the pullback in the wave four. Again, if you recall from the early wave theory, we have to we have to respect the termination of wave one as wave four cannot retrace beyond the uh, beyond the the. Um, finish of wave one so we can call this wave invalidation wave count invalidation as if because if it passes by uh, you know wave four passes that price action then it's invalid wave count invalidation there we go so that's my that's my take that's what I believe it could happen um, I don't have any true leaf, but I do have Cura, Cresco Collapse, Green Thumbs, and Tilray. Uh, okay, so just expect some movement, and then we can we may continue pushing higher. All right, now moving on to Cresco. No, let's do Cura. Uh, again, I apologize. A lot of these have already I've already worked the wave count as as these have been the ones that I. That I have positions on now. So, 
again, a lot of this is they have been there in a in an ABC correction, uh, and so we know from uh, from the yellow wave corrections that wave C always or usually is it in moves in the five wave fashion. So we have already pushed up in one, we're half down in two, and now we are in the process of extending to wave three. So where this ends, I believe we'll come up to the seventeen dollar area before we can pull back and again so from our previous example on true leaf we have to maintain the high we have to maintain price action above this level so i'm gonna write here again wave count and validation just to keep it just for for us to know that we can't cross beyond that otherwise this whole count is invalid and at which point we we were wrong so you could always use this as a way of your stop loss if you ever find yourself coming up uh, and having your incorrect wave count, which I encourage for you to do. If you're going to use Elliott Wave Theory, please try to also have multiple wave counts so that you can validate and interpret your your analysis better and have a better understanding and a backup. I'm not going to show you my alternate counts for this as I will only show you this count and the more favorable that I feel it's 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 coming on to, okay. So that's that's a uh, cure leaf. The next one I have here, let me look at my notes. Is Cresco Labs. All right, Cresco Labs like Cura, we have an ABC correction. So uh, I haven't finished labeling these, but. We, we get the idea, right? We have three waves up in A, three waves down in B, and now five waves up in C. Uh, where these are, I will tell you right now. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So that's one, down A, B, C, down in two, up in three. We have yet to print four, and now we have yet to print five. By no means, this is the end of wave five. I just arbitrarily put it there because we have not printed wave four. Once we print wave four, we can do a projection to understand where wave five can finish. But for now, that's where we are. Um, so to understand where we can finish wave three or where wave three will terminate, we can do a, a FIB extension from the low of wave one to the high of wave one down to wave two. And a normal, excuse me, let me delete this here. Uh, and mind you, we have not broken above the highs, okay? So Cresco is yet to break the highs. Um, we see that the appropriate levels, we are within the range already of, of the wave three extension of wave one. So wave three normally extends 100% of wave one. And another way that we can sort of prove that this is 100%, that wave three it has been 100% of the extension of wave one is I like to do this I like to take a measurement tool and see so we have about you know this hold on let me take the log scale off because this thing moves all right so if I copy this right over here this should be roughly the same and as you know we did cross the 100 extension so we are up into the 1618 area which is appropriate it's a little bit overextended if we look at the RSI we see that we are forming some sort of divergence, right? As price action is moving up here, we see that the strength is coming down. All right, that's indicative of, of wave five. Usually you'll start seeing divergences in wave five. And when that happens, expect a pullback. All right, so that is cross collapse. And the last one I'd like to review with you guys is um, green thumbs. Take a look at green thumbs. All right, so green thumbs, the same deal. Let me put this in the lock scale. Uh, we have been correcting this move, and now we are in the impulse. So up in A, down in B, and up in C. Now let me label this so that we we get it. So, oops, up in A, down in B, and up in C is a big flat correction. So same deal with the the previous three. Uh, we can count the five waves up. Uh, we're near the completion of this wave 
a wave C and so um, yeah uh, I, I, I want to say that this cannabis sector this year is going to be it's going to be on watch I'm going to keep an eye closely on this um, I have already built positions and I'm starting to add a little bit uh, I do anticipate March could be a pivotal point for, for the sector and we can expect fireworks so really excited guys really excited for this year 2021 has started in a rocky note but Stay, staying positive and staying and staying um, on the right note on the right foot. Uh, you do use caution. And again, I really appreciate you guys. Really love you guys for watching this video. And please give me a thumbs up if you like and enjoy the content. Write your comments. I want to hear them. I want to read them. Maybe we can go back and forth, throw, throw some ideas around and see how we can uh, uh, grow together. Because that's essentially the idea. Okay. And... Please consider subscribing as uh, as um, this content. You know, I do enjoy putting it out there for everybody to see, and it's also for educational purposes. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, have a good night. Take care. Bye.